because I literally have bug bites all over my body. Good morning, I'm back in Las Vegas. Don't mind my hair because it's like half braids, half not. I'm trying to get my hair out, get myself back together because I don't know if you guys can see in this camera, but my face is like really broken out since I got home. Not since I got home, but like over our vacation. And I don't know what's bug bites and what's not because I literally have bug bites all over my body, on my stomach, on my arms, all over my legs and my feet. It's just bad. So I'm trying to get myself back together. I'm starting a juice cleanse today. I'm on juice number one, which is um, obviously the first juice. <laughs> so it's six juices throughout the day and two shots. And um, you just do that for as long as you want to. They say um, to do anywhere from three to seven days or wait three to ten days and they said that they have people do it for like 14 but the longest i've done it was seven days so i've done that um a few times because i like to do it maybe like twice a year some people say to cleanse every month but i just feel like dang like every week uh, a week out of every month i'm just no food like i mean i guess i could do that but I don't want to so two times a year is how i've been doing it and usually before summer which is now june and in december i need to go to best buy because my condo is getting painted next week and i'm so excited i'm excited because i'm gonna have a little staycation too so yeah i'm excited about that and excited that my place is getting done um i need to go get a new tv for my room that i've been I cannot wait because that TV, I feel like I could barely see it compared to the TV in my living room because this one is so new. Sorry, my nose is stuffy, <laughs> like so stuffy. Woo. Yeah, so I'm going to go pick out a TV and set up the date for them to bring my new washer and dryer. I just pray that it fits because you just never know. Like I took the measurements, but it's kind of like, are my measurements right? I don't know. I want to get my mattress, but I kind of want to just wait and get my bed back together. And then they can bring that like the following week. Um, I'll probably purchase it though, because it takes two weeks to come. So um, I'll call and do that as well. I'm a little bit late. I already got my rug because I want my rug down before my bed goes on it. So I did get that. I got new um, blankets for my bed. Not everything, just the main you know the main um duvet and stuff like that like i still need to get some more sheets and stuff but um i know which set i'm gonna go with and then i'm just gonna add to it first of all it's 107 degrees out here like it's crazy it's vegas it's expected but i feel like i haven't felt this in a long time anyways i'm on my second juice as you can see this one is a citrus so it's gonna taste really good but they all taste pretty good but yeah, I'm on juice number two. I got four more juices to go. And that's what it's going to be for the next few weeks. I mean, whoa, few weeks. I meant few days. I'm not doing this for no few weeks. Oh my gosh, y'all. My hair looks so crazy because I told you I was taking my hair out. So here goes my bun and then these are the braids. I look crazy, but I got everything that I needed. I got a new TV for my bedroom and it's so nice. And I also got a new washer and dryer that is also so nice. I'm so tired of the washer and dryer that my condo came with. Um, the person that I bought it for, I was using his washer and dryer, which always gave me problems and i've lived there for five years now so it's really time to get rid of it but i do um i do uh dry cleaning a lot because in my building if you just you know put your clothes in and take it downstairs they'll wash it for you so sometimes i do that and i'll probably have to do that actually no like i'll be good all the way up until i leave for my staycation so I'm so excited because everything is coming together. I still have to get my bed, but like I said, I just want, um, I'm gonna wait for them to put my bed back in. We'll try to uh, schedule it. So when everything's coming back in and I can get my new mattress. Um, I'm doing all this and you guys, I don't plan on living there that much longer, but at least I'll have this stuff 
Um, the washer and dryer, I'll probably leave there. Um, honestly, if someone wanted to rent the whole thing furnished, I'd do that for the right price. Yeah, I just did a facial, and I know y'all could tell because you could see the marks. But um, I'm also taking down my hair. It's 1.30 right now, and it's Thursday. I usually do therapy on Fridays, but I missed the last two Fridays because I was out of town. So um, she didn't have Friday available this week. So I'm just going to do today. And I have 20 minutes, so I'm about to set up my little area. Usually she'll email me at like um, 15 minutes before, and then I just sign in and wait for her to get on. At first, I didn't think that I was gonna like doing therapy from home because I thought like I had to be there in person. But I like it at home because I could just stop what I'm doing. Like I was taking my braids out. I'm about to put a headband on. And then, you know, I can go back to what I was doing right after instead of driving somewhere. So I'm just gonna go like this. And then, so this is how I'm gonna be looking at therapy. Okay, let me see. I think this is how I have it. Cause I don't have no bra on. I don't ever have a bra on. My refrigerator is so empty because um, I've been on this juice, you know, so yeah like everything's cleaned out because it went bad after i left and then i just have like my juices right there ready i threw everything out today because i didn't want it to just get worse and worse and i'm going to be leaving on tuesday in a couple days because um, i'm gonna go on my staycation while they're painting my bedroom and bathroom and my bed and everything's not gonna be here um I'm about to take everything off the top of the dressers. Like most of it is, oh, there goes some hair over there. <laughs> but like those lamps, I'll finally get to use those lamps. I bought those lamps like a year ago and I never used them because I knew I was getting my room done. And then like, um, yeah, so I'm gonna take all that stuff and just put it somewhere in here. And then I have some people coming on Tuesday to, um, you know, take my bed out, take my bed down, cause I don't know how to do all that. And then, you know, bring out those dressers. I hope I don't have to take anything out of there. I hope they can just, you know, just drag it out into the, over here somewhere, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm so, 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 so excited for that because I'm gonna get my new TV and look at this washer and dryer, you guys, please. Like, it just don't even fit everything else going on in here it does it barely works like i mean it works but like the dryer i have to dry my clothes like a million times and um yeah so the washer and dryer though um so my my tv in my living room and the one that i got for my bedroom are both samsung so i wanted to get a samsung washer and dryer but if i got the samsung i would have had to wait like two months to get it and i was like no it has to be like now because once they pull these out and they paint in there, like I need another washer and dryer going right in. So this is gonna get pulled out on Tuesday and I'm gonna be gone um, all the way until like Sunday. And, um, oh, Saturday is when I come and let them in to put my new washer and dryer in, you know? So it's not no time lost. I'm gonna um, finish washing like my clothes that I took on my trip just so I don't have too much dirty clothes. And then, um, yeah i should be, i'll be fine but the washer and dryer i ended up getting was the lg um i think it might fit better because it's a little bit smaller than the samsung was it's still super nice and it was actually more expensive than the samsung i don't know why i would think like the samsung is like top notch but i guess i don't know because the samsung um they were 8.99 each 8.99 for the um washer and dryer but the lg was 11.99 for top and bottom so i was just like okay well but they had them in stock so that was the thing it should fit perfectly it's more like slim and just more modern and i also want to um you see how i put the the stuff up there and it just looks like not together i want to get um so when the wash and dryer gets here i want to go see if i can find like a little shelf because when the dryer is on you can hear that stuff like move so i want to see if there's like a little shelf i could just put right above and then I can put all my stuff up there like and make it look nicer, you know, instead of just thrown up on top of the 
dryer. washed my um deep condition out i just added more oil just to keep it you know i want all the moisturizer i can get um i'm gonna get it braided tomorrow so i'm gonna wash it out tonight and blow dry it so that's why i just wanted to keep it you know moisturized as long as i could so in one of my videos i think i said that i was not going back to my old pedicure lady well I am I can't help it so I got an appointment with her today that's where I'm headed right now also it's my last day of juicing I'm so excited my stomach is growling but I'm gonna get through this because once I start drinking my juices I've only drank one today this is my number two once I start drinking then your stomach doesn't growl as much so yeah so when i wake up tomorrow i can eat food but i'll probably take it slow that's what i always do after juicing they say not to add meat but i don't eat meat already so like if you're a meat eater they would say you know um slowly introduce meat again because that's kind of like what you're detoxing or whatever but um for me there's so many other benefits and if you want to know some make sure you're following my vegas vegan page on instagram so yeah i'm about to go get my feet done and then i have an unboxing to do because I got so much packages, I don't really know what's in them, but I'm gonna show you guys because I haven't done an unboxing in a little while. So I got a lot of stuff. And one box is from Crate and Barrel. I don't even remember what I got from them, but it's home stuff, so I'll show you guys later. Oh, that's my alarm clock. I'm supposed to be at my appointment right now. <laughs> understand why I keep going back to her like she just does the perfect job my feet look amazing and like my feet aren't like bomb they like you know they cool they cute you know when they done but she makes them look just so good like my toenails they're like perfectly square how I like them sharp edges you know just super clean so yeah I'm going back okay I was just about to get in the shower that's why I threw this um shirt on but my hair still looks crazy so that's why i'm gonna leave my hat on <laughs> so i have a lot of boxes to open i think i said that yesterday and i want to open them right now before the game comes on first i'm going to show you what i got from uh bath and body works really quick i went in remember i was saying i had to get um hand sanitizer and like the ones that i like are like mint and these are uh 72 percent alcohol so they still dry your hands out but not as much i'm looking at my hands now like are they dry but these are the ones that i like to keep in my car because it gets very very hot in vegas and there's been times when i opened it and it explodes and just gets everywhere so um that's why i like the spray ones to keep in my car and i just got the um eucalyptus mint and then i got the eucalyptus tea or something like that but that one's already in my car i left it in there and then this one is jing him jing him i don't know but they're all pretty natural smelling um i don't really want fruity hand sanitizer so these candles were two for 20 so i really just went in to get the sleep candle and it's lavender and cedarwood it smells really really good it smells like like if you're getting a massage this is how what you know the oils would smell like that's what it smells like so um i got this and then i got this sleep spray um pillow mist i don't really put it on my pillow because i'm afraid like i don't know it's gonna make me break out while i'm broken out right now and i don't know what's going on but i don't want anything else to make that worse so this i kind of just like spray like in the room you know just to get you in those sleep vibes so i got this and then i got the lavender vanilla 
sleep aid lotion and I'll probably just put this by my bed because sometimes if I forget to put lotion on my hands when I wash my hands after using the restroom or something um, I just like lotion by my bedside and then I got this sleep lavender and vanilla um, sugar body scrub and I've tried one of their other one it was like a stress relieving and it was pretty good so I just grabbed this one because I don't know I just picked up one thing from the sleep collection and then I was like let me just finish it because they had a little sale going on even though I only went for hand sanitizer but that's what I ended up grabbing oh and this uh, other candle that I got is stress relief oh, this smells good too and this is the eucalyptus experiment and this also smells like the spa that's what I got from Bath and Body Works they don't really put where a package is from on the front of boxes but i kind of appreciate that because you don't want someone being nosy oh okay um this is actually a bathing suit it's just a simple bathing suit with the burberry logo on it oh my gosh these look so giant like giant grandma panties <laughs> and then this is the top um, my nieces have like a Burberry bathing suit that I got them and I'll probably wear this when they wear theirs. Oh, I got some skin products. This is Coco Rose. This is also a body polish that I just recently got. And then this is a coconut oil lip conditioner. Oh, um, and that's everything that, that's the only thing that I got. I think I got this more because of the packaging. But, and what it's made with coconut and rose, and I love that um, combination. I love rose stuff and I love coconut oil. This is glass too. How does it smell? Oh wait. It smells just like coconut oil. But yeah, this is the in shower scrub. I love body scrubs. Let me see what this looks like. They have really cute packaging. And this says herbivore. So this stuff is like vegan, you know, um, cruelty free products. This is a crate and barrel box. Yay. Don't remember what this is. It feels heavy. So I think it's probably like glasses or something. Oh, this came quick. Oh, okay, so I got this. This is uh, from CB2, actually. I recently just ordered this. So there's stuff that I'm still waiting from here that has not came yet, but this must have been just chilling in stock. But this is like a, um, you know, like one of those dish, and I was, you know, like a dish to collect stuff. Oh my gosh, it's so much brighter than it looked online, but I think it'll still go. I wanted it to go on top of a book that I have. Um, yeah, you guys will see when I um, do it, but yeah, this is it. Okay, this one says fragile, so I'm gonna open this. This is um, one of the vases that I got from Pottery Barn. They um, told me that the other vase that I got that matches this is on back order, so yeah. So nice but it matches the candle that i had it does go perfectly i mean they're kind of different um like this one is smaller pleats or whatever but i mean it goes oh i'm like why did they send me this little bag it's literally an empty little shopper bag this is from gucci i do not remember oh my gosh you guys remember back months ago about three months ago i ordered um makeup and i said i never got the nude i thought i got a nude it just came it's nude but not as nude as i thought oh my gosh this is bright especially on my vacation skin oh well in the camera it looks nude okay well i can probably work with this i forgot about it I totally forgot about it. Now we got an Amazon box. This is masks that I probably ordered 
I don't know when because now we don't really have to wear masks but you need them when you travel and I guess they're always good to have on deck and they're cheap so whatever it's heavy it is so heavy it's like stuck Ooh, okay it's just simple um, white I also got um, the pillows but I guess they're not here yet, but this came. So this is gonna be for my um, new bedroom setup when it gets painted, it starts to get painted. Today's Sunday and it gets painted next week, well, this week. So I'm so excited. Okay, this is from Neiman's. Oh, I got my um, nephew some new um, cool um, flip flops. Oh my gosh they look giant they're just some off-white little flip-flops i'm gonna give to him when he comes here like i said i got the girls um a nice bathing suit um you know i just wanted to get him some new flip-flops they're actually my size we wear the same size but i got them for him so but oh oh yeah these are just some more um plastic straws like the reusable straws you know these dang these are the longest i don't know what i want wow really long but whatever they can go in a water bottle it's the shams oh 26 by 26 oh these will go on my old pillows so i'm just gonna take those out and then put these on oh i can't wait to see my new bed it's just really really it's gonna be like super simple like just white you know plain and hints of hints of nudes i already know what this is it says right on the front it's a dress from shanika's closet and it's just like a little black dress not gonna really be able to see it oh okay it looks real sexy on the camera wait is this gonna be too big no it's gonna be perfect and the last thing to open is from of course pretty little thing you guys know that bag if you guys order from them all I got was this is just like a lounge um I was gonna say uniform I don't know why I was gonna say that like a little Oh, this looks giant. Hold on. What size is this? Oh, this is a large. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to fit like loose, kind of. I thought it was going to be like more fitting. Maybe I should have got a medium. But I couldn't get medium because then the pants. I mean, the. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is too big. But maybe that's how it's supposed to look. I don't remember how the girl looked. And then I got um, another pair of shorts, like jean shorts, because it is summer and I don't really have that many. Honestly, I don't know if these are going to fit because it said large and I mean, it might. If anything, um, these look giant, but every time I get jeans, I have to... Um, have the waist brought in so i get like the biggest size and then go get them altered so i'm gonna have to try this stuff on but yeah so that's everything for the unboxing now i can finally go wash my hair out blow dry my hair get ready to get it done tomorrow um yeah that's all i'm gonna be doing i started packing for my staycation and it looks crazy right now that's everything on the ground over there i want to edit while i'm gone it's like a staycation because i'm not home or whatever you know but i really have to do my regular life like i still have appointments to go to and everything i'm just staying not even y'all know i stay on the strip so everybody knows that well near the strip so um basically i'm just staying like blocks away just basically i'm just not staying at home 
until they're done painting yay good morning good morning it's monday and i'm headed to get my hair done i'm just gonna get it braided oh i didn't turn my music on oh yeah so i'm headed to get my hair done and i'm just gonna get some cornrows i don't know i just been wanting my hair braided lately because um i don't really want to deal with like a weave right now and that's like the next best protective style and i don't want to i just don't want to have to do my hair right now it's so hot out here and i don't want to you know have to do anything y'all this little thing right here it looks like a bump but it's hard it's going away actually my whole face is clearing up again and let me tell y'all what it is um so i mentioned this in a video i did like a long time ago like years ago I mean, not even years ago. I only been on YouTube for like a year, um, <laughs> but it was like one of my first videos, and I said that it's my go-to whenever like I have breakouts, um, which doesn't happen often. I usually only break out when it's that time of the month, or I don't know, just something is going on. You know, your hormones and everything can make you break out. And this last month, like I had a crazy breakout. Y'all could see in my um last video i have like a couple of little go-to secrets for like it depends what kind of breakout it is if it's like a full-on face breakout i use the um different different gel which is you can get at target and i think you can get it at like probably cvs but when i first started using different gel it was years ago i was probably like 19 years old you know when you still were breaking out i got that from a dermatologist and then ever since then like I would always just keep that on me, but you always have to get a prescription for it. But now you could just go into Target, get you some, and they have other products. Like, that's what I started as soon as I got home, because I didn't have it with me. As soon as I got home, I started using that different gel. I started washing my face with the, um, actually, I was just washing my face with the oil free, just trying to get the oil out of my face because there was just a lot of buildup and I was breaking out. So it kind of does dry out your face but in a good way like you need it you know and then um i just put on that the different gel and the sunblock and i use a different eye cream but um yeah that's what got my face getting back to normal now it's like flat now just gotta wait for like these little hard things to go away but uh, i feel so much better because my face was going crazy y'all i'll catch up with you guys after i get my hair done yeah oh and i could eat today you guys i'm so excited <laughs> even though i haven't ate yet i'm drinking the juice right now because that's what i do every morning but i don't have to drink juice all day so yeah okay so i just came home from getting my hair braided and oh my gosh my head looks so giant with cornrows especially my forehead but whatever because they look cute they're super long they go all the way down to here so there's people here that can't oh my gosh ooh, that looks terrible um yeah there's like uh patches everywhere like there was like <clears throat> a crack right here um i had them take the um the curtain rod over here down and then like in my bathroom there's spots because they took like a towel rack that was here um down and then right here was a telephone um like a little jack and i was like why is that there so this is the before you guys these braids are so long and so cute like it it's so echoey in here because um, I took everything out and I have to kind of get it in better organization so they can move around it when they're painting on Wednesday. Today is Monday. The painters will be here on Wednesday. Tomorrow the movers come to move everything out of my room, take the TV down. TV is um, going home with my sister. I got a new one coming on Saturday when the washer and dryer come and um, my carpet came for my bedroom so that works out perfect everything will be cleared out and so anyways i just went on a whole different thing my stomach is growling y'all i still haven't ate for the first time yet but um yeah so i came here because um the floor cleaners were supposed to come and they just wanted to make sure that it's a job that they could fit into their schedule because they're all booked but i'm like 
I only need my bathroom and my bedroom done because this is the first time I'll be able to have all the furniture out at once. So I'm like, okay, let me get it painted. Let me get the floors waxed. And before I bring my bed back in, lay my new rug down and you know, just everything. So um, I wanted them to do that. And so last week when I called to make the appointment, I, t I let them know like I have, um, they said between 11 and one and I was like, okay, cool. But um, I knew my hair wasn't gonna be done till 11.30 or 11, 11.30, but I had to drive back and she lives like um, almost a half hour away from me. So yeah, so I basically tried to plan it out exactly. I'm like, look, can you come at like 12, 12.30? And she's like, yeah, um, he'll give you a call when he's on his way. I'm like, okay, cool. I get back home, drove all the way here. I had other stuff to do, but I came home first and i see his car so which means he came and he didn't call or anything so i'm like why did y'all do that like i'm trying to get this done this week while my bed is out of here before you know everything is moved back in but i don't want my bed out for too long because i don't want to sleep on my couch or um you know i'm i'm staying at the hotel but you know like that's what like I wanted I was thinking like a week should be cool like you know I don't want to have to um extend my stay over there like I want my bed back in so my bed should be going back in my room I'm hopefully on Sunday like I'm trying to when they come here I'm gonna ask them can you guys come back Sunday or Monday one of those something like to where I don't have to be sleeping on my couch because one I don't like people sleeping on my couch really like it gets it just too worked in good thing my couch is new though so um it needs to be broken in so right now i'm like cool but i don't like your couch my couch to be looking too sat on you know what i mean so so i mean i can do it like i'm not bougie okay i can sleep on my couch for a minute but yeah i didn't want to do it for the whole week that's why i'm not staying here and plus it's gonna be spelling like paint and all that so that's why i got a room but uh yeah so they're gonna come back tomorrow morning and they're just gonna come back while the people are moving my stuff out because they'll be here at 9 a.m. I need to call and make sure because yeah, these people canceled. They'll be here tomorrow at nine. So I just have to get up early again. But that's all I have to really do is um, the movers and stuff are gonna come and then um, my clothes and stuff are like on the ground over here. I think I already showed you guys. And I just kind of have to go through that, but I think I'm gonna do that tonight, get it more. Cause I know I'm not gonna take all those clothes. I just wanted to put um, what I might need or what I might wear. So um, I can go through and like finalize it. Even though I'm gonna be down the street, like I can always come home and <laughs> go in my closet. I didn't wanna have to do all that though. So. I'm gonna get this stuff more situated tonight. So tomorrow um, I can check in at three and that's probably the time I'll go. Um, I probably won't go any earlier because I really need to do stuff. So that's all I really have on my list to do tomorrow though, the movers and to check in. Good morning from my living room bedroom. So everything got moved out today. There's my mattress, my dresser my other bed stuff is over there i mean behind my couch they moved out the washer and dryer they didn't want to unplug anything because they wanted the people who are putting the new washer and dryer in there to you know deal with all that which was fine i don't want them to mess anything up and water shooting everywhere you know we didn't want all that so um this is going to get painted white because inside all my closets i chose to go with white i just feel like it just brightens it up makes it look clean and yeah so right now it's that yellow color <laughs> my bedroom is completely empty as well as my bathroom um i have not seen my room like this since i don't even know like honestly i don't even think it's ever been this empty because when i came so the owner at the time he had furniture so when his furniture left my furniture came in so it was kind of like i don't remember ever seeing it this empty but it's been years so